Ah uh, yeah, the last episode wasn't exactly what you could call expert in planning or expert in marksmanship or expert in anything at all other than a complete and total fucking failure, but you know what. That is me, unfortunately, so... Well, look, we got through it, we did it, uh, it's all done. I need to activate the workshop, so at least I have this available then as a settlement. Perfect. So, that is that. Uh, but we need to turn in the quest to the Minutemen, so we need to go back to Preston. What's all that? Mutt fruit. I just wonder if there are anything interesting and cool around here. There probably isn't, but maybe maybe there's a safe actually. There's normally safes and stuff in the houses, isn't there? We'll just have a quick look. Um but yeah, it might just take it a little bit easier this time because the armor that I'm wearing is not that great really to be honest. Obviously it's a mod, um and it, it's more a visual mod than anything else, so it's it's not really designed to give much protection other than anything else. So ooh, cement. Oh no, fertilizer. Collection or something? Fuck, I thought it was cement. It looked like cement. Um But yeah. I also got confused with this as well, Ardorn. I thought this was a place where all the um the robots were, but maybe that's a little bit Actually, that's probably over here somewhere, isn't it? That's in here somewhere. Yes, it is. Right, let's go back to Preston and hand in that quest. Okay. Uh, also, what I might start doing is I might start looking into modifying my weapons and stuff. Um, because it's not something that I have done so far. And it is something that I should definitely be doing. Right, but let's talk to Preston first, hand in this quest, get a little bit more XP. Hey. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are layering there. <laughs> vicious beasts. Once you clear it out, it's a rabbit. Set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. These are all part of the Minutemen's main quest, so Starlight Drive is definitely part of the, the main quest for the Minutemen. But you can also get a lot of Radiant quests that I believe are never ending from the Minutemen as well, so... Right, I, I just want to kind of take it just a small little bit easy. I want to start whittling away at some of the um, the miscellaneous achievements that we have going on about the place as well. And one probably very simple one is that one that I have to gather paint for. That's probably an easy one as well. I'm sure we go to a marsh and we just find all three of those. So... See Abbot at the wall. That's going to be a very, very simple, straightforward quest. However, how much... I think I'm pretty much over encumbered, getting close to right 779. So I might just go up here quickly and drop some stuff off. And then we'll head to Diamond City, talk to Abbot, and grab his paint. You stay sharp. It's pretty easy to avoid Yagwai. You can smell them long before you can see them probably can okay let's head off to diamond city where the fuck are you i've also been kind of dipping in very quickly in and out of uh, the downtown boston area here in order to get as many places on my map as i can so i dip in i'd find the place get it on my map and then quickly fast travel out of it before the place crashes i have no idea how I am going to finish off the game though, because for, oh, it's Christmas. I did not notice that, cool. And because at a certain point of the game, I am going to have to go into downtown Boston and yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I do have a mod installed that uh, reduces the amount of entities and enemies in Boston, but it, it's still, it, it's still not perfect. So it's a problem area. 
Anyway, up to then, we will just have fun. We won't worry about it. Right. Don't touch the paint. Why? What? Why? This is the wall. The great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. Least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Fuck off. Fine. Happy to help out. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? That sounds very good. Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. Yeah, this is a very, very simple quest, and we simply just need to go to the hardware store, mix up the correct paint, um, kill a couple of raiders and stuff that are inside there. Now I believe the raiders inside there are pretty low level, so I shouldn't have too much bother with them. My pistol should be able to take care of them. And then we'll come back and hand that into him. Perfect. Couldn't be simpler. Right? Surely. Right, this area of downtown Boston isn't too bad, but the further you go that way, the worse it actually gets. It's really fucking annoying because it, it, it ruins the the experience of it, really. The, the first time I played through it way back in the day, I never had a problem going through downtown Boston, but... Um, now I do, and I've also not been paying attention to where I'm fucking going. I don't have a map marker at all. I do have that set as my main quest, don't I? Let me just double check. Where did that go? Did it come out here? Painting the town. Okay. Why did it do that? Somebody, please help! She's hurt. Can I go through this She's way? Going to die. She needs help. No. Really? To go all the way around? Anyway, we've Somebody heard you help. talking loads She's of hurt. times. Now we are finally ready to help Hurry. you. She's in here. Please help! It's right back here! Hurry! Alright. Fuck it, I'm tanking this. I'm fucking sick of sneaking. It really is just my playstyle. I don't like fucking... Unless I'm forced hey, to... I told you to bring him in through the basement! Shut up! They're headed this way now! Be ready! <laughs> What the? End of the line! Is that it? Ah, ain't dead yet! Shut your right in the notes. Lost your head. Roy Demo, or Demo. Oh no, you're down here. Come on, little girl. Let's do this. Where the fuck did you go? Ah! <laughs> Anything useful? Uh probably not. I still took um I still took a bit of damage there. Yeah, so definitely from the next episode, I, I'll i try out some new armor again. Maybe it mightn't be as strong as what I'm wearing, or maybe it could be a thousand times stronger than what I'm wearing. I don't know, but we'll see. What I would hate to happen is for me not to be able to use another mod that I have downloaded, like the last two that we lost. Loot you. 
Um, we'll mix up the paint in a little while. Now, there's actually a lot of stuff inside here in the washing machine and stuff in the corner there, so I will get those at some stage. I do know there is a few bits up here as well. Yeah. Hey. I'm all ears. All right. Hey. Ah, fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated. Right, let us mix up the paint. Excellent. How do I make green? Is it blue and yellow? All oh, right, I got it. Yeah, it was automatically added to my inventory. Okay. Oh my goodness. Right, it just leads to the other side, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, that was um. That was pretty simple. Right, was there something there? No. Right, so we need to go back so to Abbott, give him his paint and hand it in. That should get us a level. Did we level up? Oh, we did level up, okay. All right. Uh, how the fuck do I get out? Over this way. Right, so back over this way. I'll just do a quick save as well. I'm not entirely sure as well when I will continue on with the main quest. I do know that the next thing that we need to do is go back to... No, we need to go to... What the fuck do we need to go to? Down here somewhere. Um... God, the glowing sea. Jesus. Memory's very bad. Yeah, so we need to go down to the glowing sea and find Virgil. Might do that soon enough as well, actually. Just to kind of keep the main quest going as well. Who are you? Cricket. I got so many flavors of mayhem for sale. Oh, I've talked to you before. City? Just follow the signs. Skinny as fuck from all the drugs. I've gone wrong, haven't I? Yes, I have. So you get one of those Excuse fancy me. Those one size fit all. So the perks that I have now, I might Keep see if scabbard. I can put any of those into my um into my upgrading skills and there's a mod as well that you can download to make a Christmas time all the time in Diamond City you know what it's, there, there's pretty much a mod for everything almost everything anyway at least and I do believe that during the week that they announced um, Starfield will also have mod support so that's cool Is that a real vault suit Damn. I think Bethesda realized that if you allow people to modify your game, then your game stays in mainstream for a heck of a lot longer than what it normally would. You're back. You find that paint? I bloody well did. What if I couldn't find any green paint? What happens? Hmm. People wouldn't be happy. <laughs> it's the great green guardian, after all. Tradition and such. But if it's between a new color and letting the war go into disrepair... I'd know what I'd choose. So, did you find anything? We did. Wasn't easy, but I found some, yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. <laughs> that's a step in this quest. Apply paint to the wall. Mmm, that's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Oh, yeah, you can see that. 
Uh, sure. Happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. Yeah. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. Yes. Folks around here need the wall. It's a symbol. Something incorruptible, you know? Good on you for helping her. Oh, you mean the wall. Right, uh, let us have a look, so, at what we will do next, right? The slog, green skill, kill the super mutants, okay. Could we kill the super mutants? Let's see first. Go to Boston Public Library, can't remember what that's for. Is that something to do with, um, good neighbor? The one from the store. Still need to f travel to Far Harbor as well. Board of Vertebrate. Not going to do that yet. Search Earl Sterling's house. Clear out College Square. And that's the Radiant one. Okay. Talk to Jack Cabot. Gain access to Murowski's Chem Labs. That's... See, we're doing okay for time, so... Uh, UFO crash site. Okay. Sweet Revenge. Promising partnership. Tell the Brotherhood about the Synth Refuge. We're not going to do that. Listen to Marty's holo tape. Listen to Marty's holo tape. See Doc Crocker about facial reconstruction. Just have a look at that. What? What's um? Marty's holo tape. Uh, play. Nikki, you old bucket of bolts, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. The Gilded Grasshopper. I'm not. I'm not sure where I picked that up from. I probably just picked it up from looting or something, but. All right, well, that was easy, and you got to go to Fanny Hall. Okay, right, um, I need to go over this. I, I'd say the dock is probably gone to bed at this stage, but we'll have a look anyway and just see. He mightn't be. I'm not going to change anything about my character anyway. So that I am not worried about. He's inside somewhere, is he? All oh, right, I went wrong. Oh, I think I remember this. This guy's a fucking madman. There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. Just try and find a way down there. Search Earl H Sterling's. H All right, that auto completed, did it? All right, okay. No, 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 no. we won't piss anyone off. Hey Takahashi, slap some noodles on me. So where was, um, where's Earl Sterling's house? Because I'd still like to go in there. Our service, only a Diamond City surplus. I, I think that's actually around the outer perimeter, isn't that? Just a story. University Point, Holly's house. No loitering. Earl Sterling's house. Right, let me just do a quick save. There could be a lot of stuff in here that we can maybe take. You yes. got a thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> well, there is at least. Um, you see, I don't know what we should be looking for on the side here. Probably nothing now at this stage. 
Oh, here we go. Mega Surgery Center, Dr. Crocker, Resident Surgeon, one by Reconstruction Surgery Facial, procedure to be performed upon clearance of final installment payment. Patient, Sterling Earl. Okay. Still don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, I know I've leveled up. And uh, let's see if there's anything upstairs. Chef's hat for some odd reason. Earl Sterling is the guy who's gone missing, isn't he? Alright, let's go back out. So, can... Let me try and remember. Hmm. You have a key, don't you? Doctor. This better be an emergency. Blood. Care to explain all this blood leading to the cellar? Dr. Crocker must have tracked some fluids when he went down into the cellar. He's sometimes not as fastidious as I am between surgeries. Here, the cellar key. Go check for yourself. I'm sure you'll find there's nothing going on here besides medicine. Awesome. Now, does that open this door? It does. What did that say? Your curiosity what? Maybe hasn't gone unnoticed or something? Right, I can't take anything here. Uh, that's all stealing. Hang on. Maybe I should go down into... Yes, I should be going down through the trapdoor. Um, just this way. Oh, Earl. You've, you've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. He honestly looks like the guy out of the dentist movie. Earl Sterling, easy now. Right, this guy, I, uh, yeah. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. Can we arrest him? Or will that just lead to, um... Right, I know, I've I played through this before. End peacefully never fucking works because it ends up in a gunfight and we have to kill him. I've never chosen to arrest him. Earl's death leads through a bit of dialogue. Just one more loose end. To I'll try out. arrest him. You killed a man, Doctor. You're gonna pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. And let's not do anything rash. I... I... I did it, didn't I? I killed a man. Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, there's so much blood. So much blood all over me. I can fix anything. All right, so in this instance, he just fucking What's kills him. What's going on here? Is, is that Dr. Crocker? Yeah, he didn't have anything on him. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Uh, explain yourself, Doc. Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then he killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial reconstruction. So he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this, this is inhuman. He's a psychopath. Uh, what now? Yeah, what now? 
What are you gonna do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this... contamination. Very good. We'll do that. Looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. Ha ha. Very funny. Um... Yeah, can I take... No, I still can't take any of that shit, can I? Nick, anything to say in this matter? And I hit the fucking exit button. <laughs> yeah, I meant to uh, activate Nick, myself. but um, that man decided to die. Yeah, hey. I meant to talk to you, Nick. Well, see what I can do. No, oh, fucking hell. Hey. So the doctor did it, huh? Feels like there's a cliche in there somewhere. Uh, well, I suppose they can't hurt anyone else. The case is solved, at least. He won't hurt anyone ever again. You're better at this than I thought you'd be. And I already thought you'd be good. Ellie's holding the fee for this one. Ought to go talk to her. Right, we'll probably do that in the next episode, because we are about to end this one. Hey. Hey, partner. You. Ah, uh, chat. What's on your mind? I have a couple of presents for you. And I'm increasing your discount again. Oh. I hate charging you, but I need to stay in business. You know, it feels like we've been together forever. Struck gold the day you agreed to travel with me. I love being with you. Uh, what? Wow. Headers, detox, tea added. Blah, 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 blah. Is this how you treat everyone? Don't know what to say. More to this. Couldn't agree more. Ah. Uh, there's more to this, isn't there? More to me and you? I'd like that. Ew. Really? Ah, come on, don't fucking leave it at that. Heard you're responsible for that new coat of green on the wall. Looks Hold nice. up a sec. Hey, partner. What's on your mind? What was life like before the war? Were you happy then? I hear the donuts were to die for. Yes, before everything was ruined, we thought we were safe. It was peaceful. Oh, uh, yeah. I, uh... I had a beautiful house. White picket fence and a lawn with the, the greenest grass you've ever seen. It was peaceful. Sounds amazing. Think you could ever be happy here? Fuck off, robot. Well, I suppose from our point of view, we do miss the past. What we've been fucked into is, uh, a lot of shit. I miss the past. I'd go back in a second if I could. Right? I wasn't even there and I miss it. Alright, we'll leave that the rest of the conversations right probably for the next episode. Uh, so yeah, we'll actually leave it here guys, so if indeed you enjoyed the episode, please consider giving a like and subscribe for future content if you so wish. Take care guys, and I will see you in Did the next you hear one. That? Cheers. Wanna do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Yeah, I did that already. Got a Chivo for it too.